What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Scrum Spatcher here, back with another video for everybody. And today, I want to talk about one of the most annoying missions I've ever had to do on Hogwarts Legacy. And I don't even say the mission itself; it's to get to the mission is the most annoying part ever. All right, basically, if you beat Hogwarts Legacy, you guys know there is one more mission out there. At the end of the game. Basically, you done everything you need to do. You beat the bad guy. You basically go back and you get one last mission, which is basically the little house ceremony or celebration, I guess, say, of the winning house of Hogwarts. And in my case, it was Slytherin, all right? Slytherin ain't forever. And here's the irritating part that came about this mission. God knows this is so fucking irritating. All right. It wasn't a fat day. You had to do the mission. It wasn't the mission itself. It was more the fact what you had to do to get to the mission, all right? The levels, all right? The levels is insane, all right? When I finished the story game, I can't remember the exact level it was. I want to say I was level 29. I think I was level 29 when I finished the game, all right? And that was pretty decent, right? But note, this last mission needs you to be level 34. Now, you may be thinking, that's not that bad. That don't sound too far. You sound pretty close, right? Right? You sound pretty close. But then you realize something. When you're not doing story missions, the XP that you get from doing side missions is absolute shit. It's shit, people. <laughs> I can't count how many times, how many side missions I've done. I've done so many side missions that I basically end up doing all the side missions. Almost all the side missions. I kid you not. There's literally, I have a, a, what was it, like a two hour worth of footage. It's like two hours worth of footage. I me mean, just doing straight side mission hours because I literally did not even want to upload any of that because it was such a pain a headache to even just look at that footage again it was such a pain a headache it really was because why do I have to work and I keep you not it popped to me like three hours four hours just to get the XP and then like I literally like through my controller because what the fuck was this like side missions do not give you no XP at all that shit throw that shit in the trash that shit is ass <laughs> shit is absolute garbage you best to take your chance in doing a little battle arena. There's the battle arenas that basically you can do like little waves of monsters and they come and you keep fighting them over and over again and pause. Just thought about what I just said. <laughs> but anyways, you can keep fighting them in waves of goblins and ogres and you know what? Now you can keep fighting them basically. All right. And there's one by Sebastian's house. All right. You guys, you guys may have seen it. You may or not. Uh, right now, I can't really show you guys the exact point on the map. It is because I'm not. This is not. I didn't record gameplay. This is already pre-established gameplay from when I beat the game. Now, this place on the map is is such a gold mine for me because I farmed the living shit out of it. I, I I farmed it to no end, and I was farming it, and I was farming, it, and I was farming it. And now, don't get me wrong. This gives you this gives you some good XP. It gives you like some good story XP. But here's the thing, though. The XP that you get from doing this little battle arena is more XP than you get from doing five. And I kid you not, I, I say five, six side missions together. That's insane. One battle, one battle arena just doing the way. I think it's like 10 waves you do. And I forgot who it was in the last wave that you fight. But I know it's like 10 waves. And they're all pretty strong monsters. They're pretty much they're all pretty goblins. So they're going to be about your level, like, probably like one level above or level 40 or somewhere around there all right so basically if you do those it's best you have uh the, the death of one the instant kill spell all right you guys know what i'm talking about i can't remember the exact name of that spell. you guys know exactly what spell i'm talking about the one you learn from sebastian later on after everything goes to shit but anyways it's crazy because i literally was laughing when i first did his mission i <laughs> i kid you not <laughs> I was like, there's no fucking way right now. And this has got to be one of the greatest flaws in Hogwarts Legacy. I like the game. The story's all right. You know, it does get kind of stale at moments. But it was, you know, it's a great game most of the part. You know, I had a lot of fun playing. I played all the way through. No, I won't play all the way through again, though. That's just, that's that. The replay value on this game is it's not the greatest, people. Maybe somewhere like two, three years down the line when I forget the story. And I just may feel a little, little, a little nostalgic at the time. And I might come back and play a little bit on a new story. But anyways, why, was, why is this level 34? Why is this last mission so fucking far from your current level? Like, if you don't do all the side missions in the beginning, even if you did all the side missions, do the story. Like, I was doing a lot of side missions. Do the story. That's why I was already, like, level 29, almost 30. 
by the time they gave me this mission. And I still had to climb up four more fucking levels. Do you guys not understand how hard it is to level up in this game with no story missions? It's like, it takes fucking forever. And I was just being nice when I said it took me five hours. Honestly, it took me a lot longer than that shit. It took me longer. Until I realized, okay, there's got to be a better way. Like, there's no way I'm going to keep grinding these little small XP side missions. And I got the battle arena. Battle arena saved my life in this game, people. But seriously, it's got to be, like, the most frustrating moment I've ever had playing Hogwarts Legacy. Like, I literally like to just say fuck the last mission. <laughs> I really was feeling that way because why is the last mission so far away in levels from where your current level is? I'm convinced somebody thought that was a funny ass joke. I'm honestly convinced on the DLC. Somebody thought that would just be a funny ass joke to put this shit so far ahead in levels. Alright, but with that being said, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, like the video, dislike, dislike the video. Tell me what you think down in the comment section below and what was your experience grinding to this mission. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.